All right, there's the phone number to call, 436-1212. If you have a legal question that you would like to have answered, by our lawyer in the studio, Charlie O'Hara. Charlie, thanks for being here today. Sure. I had a question for you because I was interested, intrigued by this. Um, we've been talking about a story from Derby where a woman was attacked and police have arrested a man accusing him of attempted first degree murder in this case. And she was attacked, it, they say he used a golf club and, and hit her. I was wondering where the line is between attempted first degree murder and aggravated battery. Where is the line that prosecutors have to prove to charge with one or the other? Well, a battery, an aggravated battery would be when you get in a fight and you either use a gun or a weapon uh, to, to do that fight. I mean, a simple battery would be hitting somebody with your fist mm -hmm. and the battery goes up as you use a weapon. Okay. You use a gun or something, it goes up higher. And if you do damage to somebody, it goes up higher. Uh, on attempted murder, you would have, it, it's something that you plan. In other words, it's premeditated. You plan to do this, you decide you want to kill the person, you have to have the intent to kill them, mm -hmm. not just to hurt them, but to kill them. And if you attempt to do that and don't do it, that'd be attempted murder. And how hard is it to prove that, the intent above, you know, just um, spur of the moment type of thing? Well, the level of proof is always the same, but, but if some, mm -hmm. if premeditation can be proved by the fact that you planned it or did something mm -hmm. or admitted it, or you said as you were doing it, I want to kill you, mm -hmm. or other witnesses hear you saying, I'm, I'm going to kill that person, and you go out and try to kill them, I mean, then obviously it's quite easy to prove. If they don't have those things, then the intent's very difficult. Okay, another thing we've been talking about that doesn't seem to have an answer, uh, the man who brought a gun into Augusta High School's graduation ceremony, it was in his sock, and he went to adjust it and ended up shooting not only himself, but that bullet hit another person who was in the audience. And the big question is, where are guns allowed with Kansas's new concealed carry permits? Well, and, and I think that's a real legal question from what, I've, what I, from what I've seen. Nobody actually knows the answer. They're arguing about what a building is and what you can do, where you can take the gun and where you can't take mm -hmm. the gun. I think obviously people need to really use common sense here. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going to carry a gun, you need to carry it in a way that it doesn't accidentally go off anywhere because that could be really dangerous. Mm -hmm. And then when you're in a, a crowd of people, like at a school graduation, you have to think whether you really need that gun there. Well, that's what the police chief said, too, is common sense. A sock is not a, a place you can conceal, carry a weapon, and expect it to be safe. Uh, we do have one question, a caller on the line right now. So, hey, caller, uh, you can go ahead now and ask your question to Charlie. Hi. Um, we have three people on a lease for renting an apartment. One person stopped working and stopped contributing. What are the options for the other two? Well, uh, the first option is anytime you sign a lease, you jointly and severably own that, which means owe, owe it. So if, one, if two quit playing and one has, to, has it, they have to pay it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, that you can sue the other two people on the lease with you. So if there's two of you paying and the other one quit paying, then you could sue the third person and make them pay you to pay it. But, it, but as far as to the person that you're renting from, you still, owe, you still owe the money and you have to pay it. And if they can't afford to pay rent, may not be able to afford to pay you either. So if you sign be a lease. Be careful when you yeah. sign a lease with other people. All right. We'll see you guys right after this break. Yeah.